Hey, it's Scott again. We're doing a basic hive inspection and we're pulling frames of brood. This hive here um, is pretty established. It's got a good eight frames of drawn out comb and brood in all stages and a good queen. To keep it from getting crowded and swarming, <clears throat> I'm removing a brood that's about ready to hatch. And how you can tell it's about ready to hatch is if you got newer frames, you could see right through the cappings. Sometimes it's, you know, dark looking underneath and you got a lot of like open spots where they already hatched. Some people get that confused with like a disease or something, but that's just, you know, if it's brood hatching, you're going to have all kinds of brood hatching at different times. It's going to leave spotty looking brood for a day until they all hatch. But you could take that and you shake all the bees off. Make sure our queen's not on there. She could be on there. I don't know. If I make the mistake of shaking her, then maybe somebody will catch it in the video and see her where I missed her. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and shake us off. Just a couple bees left on there. Now we can use that to boost the nuke. Alright, so we're going to continue here looking for the queen. I'm going to turn the video off, but that's how you can get some hatching brood. It's not going to leave the colony once it hatches. It's going to stay with the colony you put it in. So if you uh, got nukes that are just newly mated, you only got like a frame of bees, you can uh, really increase their strength by transferring a frame of brood works pretty good. Try it.